Actress Shannon Doherty has passed away on Saturday, July 13th after battling breast cancer for many years. Shannon rose to fame as a child actor and became one of the biggest stars of the 90s from her role in the high school drama Beverly Hills 90210. Her publicist stated, It is with a heavy heart that I confirm the passing of actress Shannon Doherty. On Saturday, July 13th, she lost her battle with cancer after many years of fighting the disease. Doherty was 53 years old. First diagnosed with breast cancer in 2015, Shannon experienced a period of remission two years later, but sadly was short-lived. In February 2020, court documents from a lawsuit Doherty filed against her insurance company regarding damage to her home revealed that she was dying of stage 4 breast cancer, which had spread to become incurable. Earlier in spring 2024, it was reported that Shannon Doherty decided to start selling off her material possessions, including a property she owned in Tennessee after almost nine years already battling breast cancer. On her podcast, Let's Be Clear, Shannon shared that she wanted to spend her time and money on the priceless things in life, like precious moments with friends and family, especially her mom. Shannon said tearfully on the episode, My priority at the moment is my mom. I know it's going to be hard on her if I pass away before her. She didn't want to leave her mom with too much to deal with either, like a bunch of loose ends. She continued, I get to take my mom on vacations because I have all this extra sort of play money laying around and I'm not digging into the money that's in my estate that's going to make sure that everybody in my life is taken care of once I'm dead. Well, Shannon did get to spend a lot of time with her mom prior to her passing as she shared a lot of moments they had together. The actress was living on a peaceful Tennessee farm for quite a while where she fostered abandoned horses. Born on April 12th, 1971 in Memphis, Tennessee, Shannon Doherty was the daughter of a beauty salon owner and a bank employee. Her journey to Hollywood began at the age of 10, three years after her family relocated to Los Angeles, when she made her acting debut on the short-lived series Father Murphy. Doherty caught the eye of series producer Michael Landon, who then cast her in his popular show Little House on the Prairie the following year. This early exposure led to a series of notable roles, including a three-year stint on the family drama Our House and a starring role in the 1989 high school dark comedy Heathers. Her biggest break, however, would come the following year with the arrival of Beverly Hills 90210, a role that would define her career. At 19, Shannon became a superstar in the early 90s, playing the straight-laced but short-tempered Brenda Walsh. This show became a guilty pleasure for a generation. After leaving 90210, Shannon experienced a lull in her career, with no major roles for a period. This changed when she reconciled with 90210 producer Aaron Spelling and then landed a starring role in the popular supernatural soap opera Charmed. Playing a witch seemed to rekindle the magic that she enjoyed earlier in her career, at least for the three seasons she remained on the show. When it comes to where Shannon called home, she rented for a lot of her young career in Hollywood. But she more recently spoke about how buying a home in her early 20s was a great decision. In an episode of her podcast where her former 90210 co-star Brian Austin Green joined her, the pair spoke about their first homes. Doherty purchased her first house either right before or right after him, when she was in her early 20s, a few years after the teen drama debuted. Shannon recalled, I didn't buy a house, I think, until I was like 21 or something, 21 or 22, noting that the home was in Malibu. But shortly after moving in, Doherty realized that the commute to the 90210 set was really hard, and she decided to give the starter house to her parents. She then moved to Los Angeles, where the show was filmed, and she was renting for some years. In 2015, Shannon sold her longtime Malibu property for $2.275 million, which had a cozy and charming feel to it. The house, which has a bit of a 70s aesthetic featuring light wood panels, sharp angles, and high ceilings, had been Shannon's residence in 1998. The property also had amazing ocean views. The exact amount the actress paid for the property remains unknown. While the home wasn't particularly flashy by Hollywood standards, it was certainly spacious, with four bedrooms and three bathrooms within 3,600 square feet of space. It also included a swimming pool out back and working fireplaces. The open floor plan allowed views of the living room, kitchen, and dining room from a single vantage point. 
Listing photos from the time of sale show the exterior of the house looking a little worn with black marks in the wood panels and an uneven cracked driveway, but these would be easy things to fix up. Inside the house exuded coziness, featuring velvet couches and oriental carpets over well-kept wood floors. The kitchen, white and spacious, appeared to have been updated in the past decade, and there was a wet bar dividing the living room and dining room for easy entertaining. The living room offers a working fireplace, a pool view, and an ocean view. The guest room with hardwood floors and natural light from shuttered windows also was a standout space. On the grounds, the property spanned a quarter acre and was located in the community of Malibu Country Estates. Built in 1977, the home seems to have undergone no major renovations since then. And while Shannon loved living here for many years, there were several instances that she nearly lost the Malibu home. As her battle with cancer progressed last year, Shannon decided to start selling off much of her properties and focus on time with her loved ones, mainly her mom, Rosa Elizabeth Doherty, rather than material possessions. So that's exactly what she did. Years ago, Shannon did move to Tennessee to spend most of her time there in a more peaceful atmosphere than Hollywood. Earlier this year, Shannon revealed that the cancer had spread to her brain. Despite these challenges and her recent divorce from estranged husband, Kurt Ibasrenko, Doherty was continuing to cherish quality moments with her mom. Doherty shared heartwarming photos on Instagram of her and her mother enjoying the outdoors, both wearing hats representing Nashville and Tennessee. Tennessee girls, she captioned the post showing the Memphis native standing close to her mom. Other photos featured bulls, haystacks, an open grass field, and even a zebra. The hat Doherty wore reads Leaper's Fork, Nashville's Big Backyard, referring to a rural village in Williamson County, Tennessee. In August 2022, Shannon shared more memories of her mom, posting a video of them dancing at home and on Mother's Day last year, she shared a touching image of them together, writing, Happy Mother's Day to this amazing, strong, loving mom. I love you so much. See you soon, mom. While Shannon ultimately found it difficult to sell her serene Tennessee property, the place where she fostered horses in need, she still continued helping horse rescues until her passing. After reflecting on the life and legacy of Shannon Doherty, we can see that the places she lived were also a big part of her journey. From her first Malibu retreat to her farm properties in Tennessee, each space was special to the actress. However, Shannon also realized that material possessions, even her homes, weren't what was important as her illness spread, and she put her energy into cherishing time with her mom instead. As we remember Shannon Doherty after her passing, we can see the touch of magic that continues to inspire all who knew her and admired her work. That'll bring today's video to an end, but rest in peace, Shannon Doherty. You will always be celebrated. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.